So if Azure is Microsoft's cloud infrastructure piece and Dynamics 365 is the customer and operations end of it, where does Microsoft 365 fit in? Microsoft 365 is the productivity solution within the cloud. At least that is how Microsoft defines it. I'm going to use this time to give you a brief tour of the Microsoft 365 Admin Center to where we will discover what some of these productivity pieces are. First, the two main features of Microsoft 365 are office deployment and maintenance and the use of collaboration tools. Some may argue that this is all one big feature, but I'm going to keep these separate. I'll select users and then active users. And we see a small list of users with this being tied to Azure Active Directory. These people are the ones to which we can grant office licenses to within this organization. In any directory service with users, you will also see groups, and this is no exception. Groups help to organize users from an organizational and more importantly for this context, a permissions standpoint. Permissions are much easier to manage when they are distributed to groups rather than to individual users. And the group's area includes shared mailboxes, which are mailboxes multiple users can use to correspond with others. A good example of this is this customer service mailbox, which the people in this town can email with their concerns about the town and its services, or just make requests for that matter. Part of a productivity solution is the ability to manage its devices. And in 365, we can, through Microsoft Endpoint Manager, manage devices through setting up not only policies on which devices are allowed, but also what they can do once they come into this network. And we can distribute apps to devices if needed. Much of what is covered in this course and what an organization will use for Microsoft 365 is in the show all area. I've expanded this section and we see security and compliance areas, the details of which we'll cover in a later domain. Endpoint Manager is used, as we just said, to manage devices and their policies. Exchange is the email server piece to 365. SharePoint is a team-based collaboration tool for file repositories and internal website information. And Teams is the collaboration app used for chat, meetings, and collaboration, even to the point of being able to have multiple people edit a Word document simultaneously while in a Teams meeting. Again, we'll cover many of these features in more detail throughout this course. The purpose of this topic was to impress upon you that Microsoft 365 is considered to be the cloud-based productivity solution in the suite of Microsoft's cloud services.